Kyle Bradshaw here and welcome to this Cruiser Customizing Tip of the Week. You know that age old saying, if she's not happy, you're not happy? Well in the back of the motorcycle, that statement is 100% true. You might be comfortable sitting on your hardtail motorcycle riding down the road. You might be comfortable on a stock seat or a potato chip type seat. But when she gets on the back of the motorcycle and you're expecting her to sit there for the long haul, it's probably not a good idea. There are several things that I'd urge you to take a look at or to think about before putting her on the back for that long distance trip. Things that you may not have thought about before because really you're just concerned about the ride. But there are a couple key things you should probably look at and address before you put her on the back for that trip around town or more importantly that long distance ride. Real quick and just off the top, some of those could be wind protection, floorboards, luggage, a sissy bar, and let's not forget about apparel. Just because your passenger doesn't ride often doesn't mean that they deserve to be unprotected when you guys go out and hit the road for some fun. You might be dressed up in your leathers, gloves, helmet, you have everything set because you're always on your motorcycle. When she or he get on the back, they may not have that gear. They're not prepared for the ride, so it's your responsibility as the driver to make sure that they have what they need to be protected. Before I jump off of the apparel topic, let me touch on women style jackets. Women's jackets aren't just a smaller version of the men's jacket. They're actually cut and tailored to fit a woman's body so that they will be more comfortable on the road than wearing a bulky men's jacket that's not really cut or tailored to fit in the right areas. Probably the number one most common thing that passengers like when they get on the back of the motorcycle is some sort of sissy bar or backrest. That backrest is going to do several things. Immediately it's going to make them more comfortable feeling that they're so much secure sandwiched between you, the rider, and the sissy bar. This pretty much eliminates the urge that they're going to fall off of the motorcycle. Another good feature is when you get on the throttle, you know that you're twisting the throttle, you know that you're going to go. That horsepower and sudden surge forward can absolutely freak out a passenger. With the sissy bar in place, they're going to have that energy pushed against the sissy bar and they're going to feel a little bit more at ease. The Paladin Quick Detach Backrest is a great option. This allows you to have that sissy bar on your motorcycle when you're riding two up, but when you're not, with just the flip of some levers, you can lift that backrest off the motorcycle and now your bike is back to that sleek, badass looking solo machine. As far as passenger comfort goes, another very important item are passenger floorboards. Those little teeny tiny round sticks that the factory puts on the motorcycle as foot pegs for a passenger are extremely insignificant. They're about half the size of your stock driver foot pegs. For anywhere between $100 and $300, you can completely outfit your passenger's footrest with good looking mounts that aren't going to take away from the looking motorcycle and actually might add to it. If you're planning on being on the motorcycle more than 30 minutes or so, a seat is a necessity. Daily, our customer care representative get phone calls. Hey, look, we went on a ride and my wife or girlfriend is not happy. She has to sit on that stock seat back there. What can you do to allow her to ride on the motorcycle more than 30 minutes to an hour without getting a sore butt? The Mustang and Saddleman brands do a great job at being able to provide you and your passenger that perfect comfort for the long distance trip. Now we've got the passenger sitting on the back. How do the dynamics of the motorcycle change? If you've got adjustable shocks on the rear of your motorcycle, make sure you adjust those for riding two up. When those rear springs bottom out, it can be a sharp jolt to the passenger. If your bike's got more than say 20, 25,000 miles, you're probably in need of a new set of shocks. Progressive suspension makes great shocks, whether you're running a single shock, such as a soft tail, or dual shocks on the rear fender, Progressive has the shocks that are going to allow you to have that soft plush ride whether riding two up or solo. In addition to suspension, tire pressure is key. Making sure that you inflate your tires to the maximum PSI when you're riding two up will allow your bike to handle better and make sure your passenger is getting the most comfortable ride possible. Another area that I commonly run into issues with is luggage or storage space. When riding yourself around, you can have a small bag or wrap things up and stick it on the back seat. But when you're riding two up, you need to think a little bit ahead. What are we going to need on the road to make the passenger comfortable? Another pair of gloves, a second jacket, maybe a liner, a sweatshirt. There's lots of things that you could take with you in order to make sure your passenger has a comfortable ride if the weather conditions change. What if you're riding to an event where you might be doing some shopping? If she wants to bring souvenirs home, 
where are you going to put them? Some sort of sissy bar bag or saddlebags could be a huge benefit when it comes to riding two up. Now once again, you may not like the look of saddlebags on your motorcycle. A set of easy brackets solves that problem. With the quick detached nature of the easy bracket, it's super simple in order to get great storage while on the road, but when you want to ride solo, you simply take them off and just these small studs are left. Now, what about wind protection? The passenger in the back, yes, is shielded by your body, but usually they're sitting six to eight inches higher than you are up on that rear fender. If you've got a trigger lock or a switchblade system from National Cycle, you can get a taller shield to use when riding two up. What this will do is that taller shield, although it's gonna cause havoc in the rain or the fog, is going to allow your passenger to ride in that same pocket of clean air that you're used to enjoying. There you have it. There are just a couple simple things to take a look at or to think about before putting a passenger on your motorcycle for a day trip or the long distance haul. Thank you for watching this week's Cruiser Customizing Tip of the Week. Until next week, take care and ride safe.